بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Indeed, all praises for Allah. We praise Him, seek His assistance, and seek His forgiveness. We seek refuge in Allah from the evil promptings of our souls and from our evil actions. Whose ever Allah guides, none can misguide. And whose ever Allah leaves to stray, none can guide aright. I testify that none have the right to be worshipped except Allah alone, having no partner. And I testify that Muhammad, may Allah exalt his mention, is his slave and his messenger. Uh, Insha'Allah, today I want to, uh, I want to uh, a bit uh, give you more knowledge about Allah. It seems a bit hard, uh, but uh, you deserve, Insha'Allah, you deserve to uh, receive that thing, uh, which is uh, Allah attributes, which is Allah attributes. So uh, we are going to say uh, that from Allah attributes, inshallah, uh, we are going to collect uh, the following categories, which are Allah mercy, Allah knowledge, Allah beautiful, uh, Allah beauty, and then uh, comprehensive knowledge about Allah uh, attributes and deeds. So, uh, uh, in order to uh, make a title for the coming lessons, it may be two or three uh, coming lessons concerning uh, concerning Allah, uh, Allah Jalla wa Ala, uh, most beautiful names and attributes. We are going to say that these titles. Let me write it. Uh, let me write it, and then we are going, inshallah, a bit one by one. I I I'll do my best not to leave anything for you. These are the uh, coming uh, uh, lessons, uh, and uh, inshallah, I'll start uh, one by one. Uh, these are the lessons. The lessons, as you see, are Allah. Yes, see. These are Allah mercy, Allah knowledge, Allah beauty, and comprehensive knowledge about Allah attributes and deeds. Uh, so let us start by Allah mercy. Let us start by Allah mercy. Before dealing with Allah Jalla attributes, uh, we have to say that what is the duty of the heart? Uh, actually, the heart is the origin. The heart is the origin of comprehensive knowledge for the limbs or the so-called jawarih. So, in order for jawarih to work properly, it should follow heart comprehensive, heart comprehensive knowledge so that fiqh al qulub fiqh al qulub comprehension of the heart is much 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 wider and effective more than uh, limp comprehension i mean if we try to compare knowledge of jawarih, the so-called fiqh al-jawarih, it will be the example in Arabic and I'll translate it inshallah. Inshallah, it will be like that. Fiqh, fiqh al-qulub, I write in Arabic, then I'll translate inshallah. Fiqh al-qulub, kadharrati, bin للجبل. When compared with heart, thick. Now, thick means comprehension to understand about it. Thick to understand about it. It has a meaning. So anything has thick. It has a meaning. I want to understand this meaning. For example, when I'm saying thick, رحمة 
الرب when I'm saying comprehensive knowledge about Allah mercy this is the title so I have to understand that comprehensive knowledge means wide knowledge about this title I should have to know in order to behave accordingly source of knowledge of comprehensive knowledge is the heart so comprehension of the heart if it is compared to the comprehension of the jawarih limbs eyes ears gawarih it is like mountain mountain compared with in an atom so if you are saying that the atom dharra is the jawarih Okay, and the heart will be the mountain. Can you compare? Will be the jabal. So fiqh al jawarih, if compared with fiqh al qulub, it will be like zara in compared with a jabal. Zara, an atom compared with mountain. In spite both are necessity. In spite both are important. Because you can know about your Lord and you are very uh, 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 loving and you are feeling yourself as a slave to him and you love him too much, but you didn't pray. So praying is jawarih deed. Knowing that you are facing your Lord is heart deed. You will never practice proper jawarih deed without in intention about who are you facing by your heart. So the heart is the modulator for understanding the proper situation so behave accordingly again if it seems a bit difficult but i'll try to simplify in order to understand which is very meticulously important jawarih limps to let your eye see whatever you want to let your he ear hear whatever you want is due to the fact that you are not comprehensively oriented about your Lord by your heart. I mean, committing sins, committing sins are due to the fact that there is a separation between heart and jawari. Heart is the main organ whom Allah is, is looking to inna Allah yanzur ila qulubikum wa la yanzur ila ajsadikum or siwarikum Allah jalla wa ala is looking to your hearts and not to your shapes, colors, bodies, languages, sexes Allah is looking to the hearts so in order for that heart to behave properly he should understand. So, comprehension, heart comprehension about his Lord will be reflected on the jawari comprehension and varies accordingly. The more, the more. The more that heart is having proper knowledge about his Lord, the more Jawarih is going to be affected. And that's why uh, we are saying that intention is very important. Intention is hard work. Intention is hard work. So intention 
to do intention in every action you are doing, it means that this heart is oriented heart. This heart is having well knowledge that if he is putting intention in, in all his deeds, he will be re rewarded more. On another, uh, 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 on another way, in another way, we can say that. What is fiqh al-qulub? Let us understand. Now I have two things. I have fiqh al-qulub, heart comprehension, and fiqh al-jawarih. Limp, limps comprehension. Heart comprehension is a tawheed. Heart comprehension is a tawheed wal iman wa shu'abu. What is the meaning? Heart comprehension it deals with orientation by our Lord so unbelieving in Him alone and on with Him so I am monotheistic. Being monotheistic I should practice Iman. Iman is feelings. And maintaining Iman means all its branches. And it comes on the authentic hadith that Iman are bud'un wa sab'un, about 70 more uh, uh, branches. Last of them, Imatat al adha is to remove something from the way of others so that they are not going to be hurted. This is from your Iman. If you are not oriented by that, it will say, you will say to yourself, it's not my business. It's not my business to bow and remove and this search about uh, uh, garbage to put it at. Uh, I have no time for that. You can say that. But who makes you intended to take anything from the way of others in spite you don't know these others but you are having comprehension that this is from iman branches imatat al adha imatat al adha remove any hurting object whatever this hurting it may be bananas uh, cover it may be uh, uh, um, silly box put in not suitable uh, uh, situation. Anything. So, imatat il ada. Imata means removal. Ada means any kind of hurt. So, imatat il ada is from iman branches. So, fiqh al qulub to speak about com heart comprehension and to and to be oriented by and to be oriented by this subject they didn't collect it in one book in one book as jawarih fiqh how to pray, how to fast, how to do uh, pilgrimage, how to share. These are jawarih fiqh. Jawarih fiqh. Many books spoke about. You can find a lot of books. And these have been reflected on Muslims, how to pray, how to fast, how to do wudu, ablution, but not how to be keen in doing that, because that is fiqh al qulub heart comprehension, which is monotheistic, to be monotheistic, to be doing that only for your Lord, to feel that you are observed by him. He, Jalla wa'ala, is the most hearing, the most see, seeing. 
to be oriented ماذي هذا الكتاب لا يترك صغيرة ولا كبيرة إلا وأحصاها or oh, how this book is not leaving any minute thing without collecting and recording these things meticulous sensation about facts facts it is a fact I'm dying I'm going to die it is a fact I'll meet my Lord it is a fact he's going to ask me it is a fact nothing is left it is a fact everything is recorded these facts if I am not oriented by in this world life it will be hard meeting there and Allah from his mercy Allah from his mercy sent prophets and within books supported by his talk in order to learn all mankind but who is benefiting this is the point so we should be oriented by the branch of fiqh al qulub heart comprehension and inshallah inshallah I am putting good intention, inshallah, that you should know. You have to know. Even if it is difficult, I'll try to simplify it. But you should know. You should taste. Iman has a taste. You should taste this delicious taste. which is a part which is a part of here after tasting who is not going to taste in that dunya will not taste in here after so tasting iman has a taste to feel this taste it greatly differentiate in what are you doing in what are you doing it is greatly differentiated to feel it than to automatically doing it without feelings because in spite thousands of books are written about jawarih deeds little or none are written in heart deeds and that's why muslims have been have been affected by weak iman and the result of weak iman is many arguments and many disputes and many points of separation between ideas and the result of that is decrease sincerity and decrease eager to do is decreased i'm not eager to do i'll just pray i don't want to exceed more than five times praying Okay, where is the nawafil? I have no time. I'm so busy actually. So you are not trading with your Lord. In spite, in spite, we are created only for that. All other than that, Allah called it la'ib. Allah considered that playing because if we come together to 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 say that we we can see for example 
give me I think Surah Al-Hadid insha'Allah yes in Surah Al-A'raf see in Surah Al-A'raf Allah Jalla wa ala is saying in verses 97 and 98 أَفَأَمِنَ بَيَاتًا وَهُمْ نَائِمُونَ أو أمن أهل القرى أن يأتيهم بأسنا ضحى وهم يلعبون الله is saying why they are behaving so badly like that why they are behaving so badly like that are they not be afraid that our punishment is going to is coming to them night or day See what is he saying about day. Duhan wahum yalabun. Duhan wahum yalabun. So he Jalla is considering the work we are doing in the morning. In the day time is playing. Allah is saying, "Aw amina ahlu al-qura ayyatiyahum baasuna duhan." In in day time, wahum yalabun. So the reality that other than Allah and what he ordered us to do is considered playing, you will never feel it without heart comprehension. You are not going to feel it without heart comprehension. Knowledge by your heart, the so-called Iman, Feelings. Feelings by what? Feelings, number one, to be monotheistic. All your deeds is for Allah. That's why you have to be oriented by the fact that hearts, mankind, mankind, hearts, is, is within Allah's hands. Moving according to his will. Okay? Man's heart is in between Allah hands. Moving according to what he likes. According to what he likes, you have to stand and saying, from Allah mercy, from Allah justice, from Allah love, who is going to worse Allah by his heart? Allah is going to move his heart towards Sidaya. Allah is going to move his heart towards guidance, Hidaya. Man aqbala ala Allah, ahabbahullah. Who is going towards Allah lovely? Allah is going to love him. And see, see and be cautious of that. Who comes towards Allah lovely, Allah is going to love him. And what is your aim in the whole dunya life? That, ma that person love you. That person have deal with you. That person I should do so and so with him. These all persons, Allah is going to bring them to you if he is. If he is, if Allah is oriented by your heart to be properly only directed towards Allah, Allah is going to gather all these to you without any effort from you. Because everything in his hand. So the point is not we are all loving Allah. So not the point I love Allah. The point to be loved by Allah. So, قلوب العباد بيد الله يقلبها كيف يشاء. Hearts are within Allah's hands, moving according to what He wants. But Allah is directing hearts towards Hidayah according to what that heart deserves. من أقبل على الله أحبه الله. Who comes towards Allah, expressing 
his love to Allah by all means, Allah is going to love him. And if Allah loves you, this is the issue. This is the true issue. Because he is going to bring anything you can imagine to you without any effort from you. Without trying to do your best in collecting hearts of others. You are going to fail. You are going to fail. So without any trial or effort from you, Allah is going to offer you if you are only monotheistic to him. And you have to know one fact. It's very important to know this. Qimit al-insan. The actual value of man is bilsifatihi with his attributes and not with he himself. La bidatihi. La bidatihi. See? The value of any man is by his attributes and not by he himself. To be X name is not important. To be X rank is not important. To be X job is not important. To be X sex is not important. But to be kind, to be generous, to be polite, to be smart, attributes is the important thing. Al-insan, qimit al-insan, man value is with his attributes and not with he himself. Why? Why? Because Allah Jalla wa Ala, Allah Jalla wa Ala, created many creatures stronger than man. Many aggressive and can eat man himself in seconds. Lion can eat man. Dog. Mosquito. So there are so many creatures stronger, more aggressive, more capable to, 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 to crush him. Allah Jalla wa Ala, Allah Jalla wa Ala, make all these under his permission. You can walk beside the dog. He is not caring that you are walking beside him. You can, again, again, we are saying that the value of man is by his attributes and not by he himself, what is he? Because many creatures are stronger, are more capable to hurt him, to conquer him, but Allah makes them all under his control. He can use a camel, a camel, which is a very huge animal with very hard characters. And an, a, a camel, a camel has the character of hatred inside him to the extent that it is described that if somebody hurt him, even his owner, even his owner, he can wait until he is alone and he can kill him and he is his owner. So that camel itself, that camel itself, Allah makes that camel as safe as that 
on just saying Bismillah, you can slaughter him. Slaughter, slaughtering the camel, so easy. He's seeing the knife. He's seeing that he's going to be killed, and he do nothing. This is from Allah. Just by saying Bismillah. So this gives you an idea how Allah loving man, he made him by himself. So that man, his value, his proper value, his proper value is by his attributes. And the best attribute is Iman. And the best attribute, the best attribute is Iman and righteous deeds. And the worst attribute is disbelieving and sins. Again, the value of man is by his attributes and not by himself. And the best attributes is Iman, believing in Allah. Believing in Allah will lead to righteous deeds, raised up to be accepted. And we can find in Surah Ibrahim, inshallah Surah Ibrahim, No, 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 not Ibrahim. Surah Fatr. Yes, Surah Fatr. Surah Fatr 10. Surah Fatr 10. See Surah Fatr 10. Allah is saying, Man kana yuridu al-izza, falillahi al-izza tu jami'a. Who wants to, who wants to ask about mighty? The Almighty is for Allah Jalla wa Ala. So, only, only, a righteous deed is going to be higher up to be accepted. See, Allah Jalla is saying, you want, you want to be honored? You want to be glorified by your Lord? Loved by your Lord? You want to be honored? The whole glory and honor is for Allah. And being so, being so, he never accepts anything. Only accept good words, good behavior, cheerful attitude, nice talk. These are righteous deeds. Righteous deeds only goes up. Why? To be accepted. I want you to not to read the translation. I want you to imagine the word يصعد. you are going up the, that work that deed the action you do as if climbing the air to reach high up in the sky, in the heavens. And he didn't, Allah, and Allah Jalla wa Ala only accept righteous deeds. Other than they're not accepted. And that's why he said, وَالَّذِينَ يَمْكُرُونَ السَّيِّئَاتِ He is doing sins, not easily doing sins. No, he's mocking. He's mocking. He's doing that by plotting evils. He is planning, not haphazardly doing sins. That's why Allah said, severe torment will be, will be uh, 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 
prepared for them. As they are plotting, Allah is going to plot against them. And their plotting will, will, will perish. It will not be effective for any. So, again, the value of man is by his attributes. The best attribute is Iman and righteous deeds. It is accepted by Allah. And the worst attribute is disbelieving or to be polycystic. And as a result of that, doing bad deeds or sins. And now, there are words which is very important. Al-ilm al Each organ needs food. So, knowledge is the food of minds. With dhikr ghidha al Memorizing Allah and doing dhikr is the food of the hearts. And the fruits of both is the righteous deed. Again, again. Al-ilm, al-ilm, ghidha. Okay, again. We have said words. These words are Al-ilm ghidha al-uqul, al-dhikr ghidha al-qulub, il-amal al-salih thamaratahuma. Ten. Again, to have knowledge, to have knowledge is the food of minds. Knowledge is mind foods. And mind food is knowledge. To remember Allah by dhikr is hot food. The result of both to have knowledge and continuously remembering Allah by dhikr, the result is you must do righteous deed. If you have knowledge and you don't have continuous remembering of Allah, dispute and argument will result again we are saying that knowledge is mind food and remembering allah by dhikr is heart food to remember allah always and you have proper knowledge about him the result is righteous deed in the form of proper praying, proper sharing, eager to have night praying, eager to increase your righteous deeds, because you came to know about Allah and you are always remembering Him by your heart. But now let us separate between them. If you have knowledge and you are not you are not resulting that knowledge by righteous deeds. You are not taking time to express your iman by righteous deeds. What are you going to do? You have knowledge. So you want to express yourself. So you start argument. And you start antagonizing others' opinions. And disputes will be among others, among, uh, among Muslims, among, among those who came to have knowledge. So to have knowledge and you are not expressing this knowledge by righteous deeds, it will be changed into arguments. And knowledge with effort to express knowledge, the so-called righteous deeds, makes this heart be softened. 
So what's soft in your heart? What makes your heart humbling and trembling and moving softly towards Allah, palpitating with Allah names all the time? That you came to have knowledge about Allah and you want to prove your sincerity by righteous deeds. And Allah Jalla wa Ala wish Allah Jalla wa Ala create us only for His worship. There are tasks. There are tasks. These tasks either these tasks either completing what Allah likes or completing what you like again Allah Jalla wa Ala create, created us for his worship worshiping Allah is not completed in order to be completed it needs iman good manners righteous deeds certain duties being a muslim certain legislations should be done these are ways of completing your iman which allah likes this is one issue the other issue allah didn't create us for which is completing our money completing our desires completing our things we are owning allah didn't create us for that and allah makes it very apparent Allah makes it very apparent makes it very very apparent in his Quran that that many nations depending only on causes in order to nourish and flourish their needs not Allah asks them to do they have been crushed and vanished because they have lost Allah mercy again Allah Jalla wa Ala created us for one mission to worship him worshiping Allah needs extras we should do these extras are proper Iman which will lead to righteous deeds, proper manners, behaving properly as true Muslims, between other Muslims and between others calling them to be Muslims, and giving proper picture about you as a Muslim and your Islam, Allah created you for that. That you have causes, use these causes for Allah worship. Allah gives me money, Allah gives me knowledge, Allah gives me proper rank, Allah gives me a, a, a good around me family to support me. All these are tools. All these are causes for more progress. But my progress is not dunya progress. My progress is to complete my iman to be proper Muslim, not Muslim, but Mu'min. And more than Mu'min, by being Muhsin, to reach benevolent attitude. Understand? So Allah Jalla wa created us for His worshiping, to worship Him. To worship Him, you need to complete your Iman by righteous deeds, by good manners, by uh, uh, doing uh, duties asked from you as a Muslim these are the main causes Allah created me and you for and he didn't at all created us to complete our money 
to complete our desires, to complete our needs from things we want, cars, homes, curtains. Allah didn't create us for that. And Allah has made it very, has made it very apparent in his Quran that uh, along the whole Quran, he's telling us stories of many nations. Allah Jalla wa Ala crushed them, crushed them totally, totally punished very aggressively, like Noah, Noah nation drowned all of them. Ad, Thamud, Pharaohs, all these. They use what Allah gives them to complete their Iman. Instead, they use it for their pleasure, their desires, their own life. That's why, as I said before, Al-Ilm Ghidha Al-Uqul. So your mind is filled with knowledge. الذكر غذاء القلوب to memorize Allah all the time is the food for hearts it should it should lead to righteous deeds so العمل الصالح is the fruit ثمرتهما To have dhikr and to have authentic knowledge, it should lead to righteous deeds. To be accepted from Allah. So, you have to know that Allah has lovers. Mahbubat al-Rabb. Mahbubat al-Rabb. What Allah loves. I should complete what Allah loves. Allah loves Iman. Allah loves uh, 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 benevolence. Allah loves piety. Allah loves uh, 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 repentance. Allah loves righteous deeds. Allah loves Iman, Ihsan, Taqwa, Tawbah, A'mal Saliha. Allah Jalla loves Iman loves piety, loves repentance, loves uh, a benevolent attitude, loves righteous deeds to be done by you and my, by Muslims. Complete this. This is what Allah likes. Allah loves this. So Allah created us to complete what Allah loves. Mahbubat al-Rabb. We have to complete it in this dunya. What about my desires Allah make hereafter for my desires to be completed there if I am eating little I eat much there if I am dressing little I uh, I will go to dress there the best dresses if I am eating little I will take a lot of eating a lot of desires a lot of a uh, 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 picnic and going uh, for 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 uh, 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 delicious food and uh, uh, and uh, and picnics and all this up higher. Allah Jalla wa Ala make this dunya to complete His lovers and make hereafter to complete my lovers. And who is going to complete Allah lovers? Allah is going to complete his lovers in hereafter by just entering paradise. And there, there, on the paradise, hopefully Allah will uh, 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 let us do all that, you will gain a lot. You will gain a lot. Not only desires, not only touchable desires, food and drink. No. You will, you, will, you will gain Allah contentment. You will gain 
what nobody can imagine or what no eye can see or ear can hear or even can imagine by any human heart. You are going to see you, Lord, to sit with your Lord, to hear you, Lord. So I have lovers. Dunya lovers are nothing, are nothing. I have to complete Allah lovers to gain his love to complete my lovers in hereafter. And there, unexpected, unimagined, all kinds of happiness, all kinds, whether eaten, whether heard, whether tasted, whether felt, all kinds of happiness are there. There is a fact, that fact, none will be able to cross Sirat without having three characters. لا أحد يستطيع أن يعبر الصراط إلى الجنة. None will be able to cross Sirat safely to Jannah without being characterized by three things. رضي بالله ربا he agreed for Allah to be his Lord. وَبِلْ إِسْلَامِ دِينَ And by Islam to be my religion. وَبِلْ مُحَمَّدْ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَّمْ To be my prophet. It's not just words. It's not just words. Allah جل وعلا has legislations. He has rules for all his universe. For all his universe. And we are part of that universe. We are part of that universe. None has the right to be worshipped but Allah. If you, do, if you disobey his religious orders if you disobey his religious orders you will not be of the groups Allah support and with grades with grades who are going to disobey Allah orders he is towards disbelieving مخالفة أوامر الله الشرعية من الكفر من الكفر Allah has authentic rules who is going to disobey one by one one by one it is towards disbelieving it's starting from I cannot wear properly all these things you are wearing Actually, it is hot weather, and I cannot, I cannot feel even unable to breathe if I put something heavy on my head and uh, long dresses and uh, you are giving excuses. It's okay. These are from disobeying Allah orders. <laughs> Be at ease. The more, the more. It's totally up to you. Disobeying Allah orders is direction towards disbelieving. And these are from kufr. Mukhalafat al-awamir al-shara'iyya ziyada fil kufr. Allah jalla wa'ala increase those thinking like that towards disbelieving. He is increasing their hearts to be deviated from iman. Now there are very important rules you have to know. There are very important rules you have to know. That. You know the shade? The shade 
Each person has a shade, right? Dunya is like the shade. You cannot reach. Dunya is like each body shape, shade. You cannot, you can follow your shade, but you cannot reach, you cannot hold, you cannot catch. Dunya is the same. A dunya kazil. A dunya kazil insan. You can't catch, you can't reach. Even if you are going to walk for the whole life. Okay, and number two, so these are rules to reach a diagnosis. Number one, dunya, you cannot catch everything you want in dunya, you cannot catch it. This is rule number one. Number two, concerning provision, which is the main cause people are only doing, searching for the provision. So, the issue of provision, a risk, Allah Jalla finished it. Everybody has his provision. Allah determined it, its amount, its type. It's time, it's place, no increase, no decrease. Again, the provision, the provision is finished from a large, finished this issue. Everybody has his provision already written in the tablet. It is already written. And that provision for each is determined from these views. Its place, its time, its amount, each body, male or female, young or, or old, it's already written and finished and written there in the tablet. So no increase, no decrease. So be at ease. Be at ease. Don't be in a hurry. Don't struggle doing your best to increase your provision. What is the meaning? Shall I sleep? No, 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 I didn't say so. Take your provision by authentic means. Take your provision by authentic means. Don't ask your provision by committing sins. Again, again, the issue of provision, before that we said that dunya is like a shadow. You are not going to catch all. And you are doing, what are you doing because of the issue of the provision? That, that provision is already determined high up. Allah determined everybody provision concerning its time, its type, its amount, its place. There is no increase, there is no decrease. So be at ease. Take this provision by authentic way according to what Allah ordered you to do, and not try to increase it by committing sins. And you have to know two things also. At dunya, this world, dar al-hajat, al-akhirah, dar al-shahawat, Again, dunya is the place 
for needs. I am here to fulfill needs. And I should complete Allah likes, not my like. This dunya is the place for needs. Hajat. I need, again, 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 no, 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 wait. This dunya is dar al hajat. This dunya is the place of needs. Take the minimal needs you need. I need to drink. I am thirsty. Go and drink. I am hungry. Go and eat. Take the minimum needs. Don't increase it. Because increase means desires. Desires is hereafter places, not dunya places. Again, again, we are created to worship Allah. Allah have lovers. The lovers of Allah is Iman, Ihsan, manners, good manners, proper behavior to gain Allah contentment, piety, patience, all these are Allah lovers. Complete it. But I have needs. Yes, what are your what are your needs? My needs is to eat, to drink, to love others. It's okay. Take the minimal needs. Take what makes you be able to continue in that dunya. Don't increase. Because what are you going to increase here? You will be deprived there. I want to live in a very comfortable life. Okay? It will be decreased from there. It is a law, a rule. Nothing is haphazardly. And Allah didn't at all ask you to exceed your capability. Allah will not ever ask you extra work you cannot bear it no try to do the following to know the following facts dunya dar al hajat dunya dar al hajat what i need here i am in need of something to do to take food Water or drinks generally, take it. But don't make it desires, shahwa. Because desires is hereafter place. And here, maintain and fulfill Allah, what Allah loves. Concerning what Allah loves, don't exceed your effort. You are going to pray. Pray properly. I cannot pray all the night. Take part of the night and pray. I have little money to share. Take the amount you can honestly share with and share. But you should share. You should pray. You should fast. These are Allah lovers. So you have to fulfill. To gain your lovers there. And. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah exalt his mention. His thought. His thought. Is unlimited. He was. Thinking about guiding all mankind. We are not even trying to guide our kids. We are, we are limiting our thoughts how to increase our provision. 
It's not your duty. It is not your duty. You are not going to increase. Is the, the the issue of provision already finished? It is written there concerning its amount, concerning its place, concerning its time, concerning its quality. You are not created in order to go here and there, leaving your family, trying to take more money in the other place, leaving your family, knowing nothing about your kids, knowing nothing about your wife. This is not the issue why you was created. Complete what Allah loves. Don't complete your desires. The more, the more. If you are completing your desires here, you are lacking there. And here for sure is limited time. There is the original, continuous, unlimited time. Not here. Here, surely we are going to live. Surely we are going to die. It's not a jet black look. It is reality. It is reality. The loser, the loser is the one who is working away from Allah and his deen and his religion. See, we are three groups. We are three groups. One is busy in fulfilling his desires. This is a loser. He is whole life 